Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Okay, great. Great. We've got some parents adding in here. And uh, one minute here. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Welcome. We're giving them a couple minutes here to the parents are logging in right now. Okay. We'll give it one more, another couple minutes here. <coughs> hello. Can, yeah. Hello. Welcome to the meeting. We got a good amount of people joining us Hello. tonight. Hi. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. My name's Claire Collins. I'm gonna. Sorry, it. sorry for interrupting. Connection is very bad. We're cutting off. Yeah, you know that might be the the phone, but we'll, we'll, I'll record this meeting and send it out the link out to you so you could watch it again if need be. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to mute everybody. That'll take care of some of those, uh, the background noise. Okay. So, I, real quick introductions. My name's Clark Conover. I'm, uh, will be the summer school principal. And your, your student is enrolled in the middle school program. Um, before we get started any more, any further, I'm going to have the teachers, um, introduce themselves. They just have their, say their name. And typically where they work here in the district. So I'm gonna start off first with Adam Morrison. You might have to unmute yourself, Adam. I'm not sure. Guys, my name is Adam Morrison. Uh, I've been in the uh, Livermore School District for 17 years. I've taught uh, elementary, middle school, and high school. And this is my 17th year of doing summer school. And I think your kids are gonna get a good amount of uh, reading and math and, and grit out of this program. So I'm, I'm excited to be back and doing it again. Okay, great. Let's go to Amy next. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy Maciel. Um, this, I just finished my sixth year in the district, and all six years I have taught either seventh or eighth grade core um, at Junction, and I'm excited to be teaching uh, middle school, summer school this year. Uh, next, my screen, Megan. Good evening. My name is Megan Fletcher. I have been teaching everything from second through fifth grade in Livermore for the past 27 years. Um, currently, and for the past 10 plus, I've been teaching fifth grade at Smith. And Robin? Hi, I'm Robin Schlichter. I have been in the district for 17 years. Most, uh, about half of that, I've been teaching math at Mendenhall. And the other half, I was a district math coach. Um, and so I've recently gone back to the classroom and I'm looking forward to working um, summer school. Okay, great. And then I know she probably doesn't want to be introduced. So I'm going to introduce her anyways. Uh, Vicki Scudder is on the line. Mm -hmm. 
She's been the principal. Good evening. Yeah, I'm Vicki Scudder. I work at the district office and curriculum. Um, some of you may recognize me. I don't know. I may have probably taught you. So that probably tells you how long I've been in the district, but I'm really happy to be here and working with this great group of folks and also getting to know all of you and your kids. So good to meet you. Okay, I'm going to kind of go over the nuts and bolts of the, the program. Then we'll let the teachers talk a little bit more about what it's about. Um, it's a four week program starting Monday. It's Monday through Thursday. Your students enrolled in either period one or period two. And an email went out with that information. So if you didn't get it, please let me know. Email me. My email's c c o n o v e r at l v j u s d dot org, and I will send that out. You've got my email. I've been emailing you. Um, the period one is from eight thirty to nine thirty. Period two is from ten o'clock to eleven o'clock. So it's just an hour. We're just asking for an hour of your students' time. Okay. Um, during this this program, we're going to be covering math, some writing, some reading, um, some grid stuff. Our hope is to get your students excited about school. Um, we 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 don't need you to be the hello folks. We don't need you to be the teachers. We can be the teachers. What we need need from you is if you can get your kids. I know it's tougher than than it sounds. Up in time to watch to get log in. You do that, that would be great. Um, it'll be done by WebEx here, so you can do, the kids probably know how to do it better than we do, but it's on the computer. Every every Monday through Thursday, they'll get up at their appointed time and log in with our wonderful teachers here. Um, I'll put on, Adam, do you want to talk a minute, or Robin, actually, do you want to talk about math a little bit, Robin? Sure, I can give you a brief overview of what we're going to be doing for math. So there, during the one hour that the students will be on WebEx with the two teachers, um, a portion of that time, we will be looking at some growth mindset videos, talking about how our brain grows, that everybody has a math brain, and just talk, building up students' confidence that they can really believe in themselves to be a math person. Um, and then the second part, we're going to focus on fractions and decimals um, and do this through like a, a conversation. We're going to look at pictures. We're going to look at um, the different operations. We know that when students are really strong in their fractions and decimals, it helps prepare them to be successful in algebra one and, and beyond. So we really want to build that foundation um, in the fractions and decimal concepts. The, there's going to be a portion of time required outside of our one hour on WebEx where students are going to have access to a program called ST Math. And some students might know this program as GG Math. It's the one with the penguin on it. Um, some classrooms around our district have been using it. Um, we will go over um, how to log in and help kids um, get started on it. But it, we're asking for students to spend 20 minutes on ST Math outside of our one hour WebEx time. Um, it's games, it's formatted as games and trying to get the little penguin to go across the screen. Um, and so that will be their math practice outside of our conversations in class. Great. Um, Adam, do you want to speak about the GRIT? Um, GRIT is an acronym and it stands for Guts, Resiliency, Integrity, and Tenacity. And it was developed by uh, Dr. Angela Duckworth, who's a psychologist. And, you know, guts is just how to be brave, right? And resiliency is how to overcome when things don't go your way. And integrity, I like to best describe that as what do you do when nobody is watching, right? Making those good choices and being honest. And then tenacity, just being able to stick with it and chase your dreams. And I've done this the last few years in summer school, and it's pretty powerful. It gives kids the ability to think, you know what, I, I can overcome adversity or I can chase my dreams. And so we'll be doing a series of videos and discussions and short points just to, try to develop in them these characteristics, which will help them to overcome the challenges of everyday life and school that they're gonna face going forward. So it's a lot of videos, a lot of discussion, a lot of reflection about, you know, what can I do when things don't always go my way or how can I be tenacious? And hopefully at the end of four weeks, 
they come out of that ready to take on any challenges that might come to them in the future. Great. Uh, Amy, do you want to add anything about the ELA portion? Um, sure. In addition to the GRIT program, um, there will also be a writing component that goes with that where students will be doing a weekly writing um, activity where there's more of a structured formal writing uh, focus where we kind of go over um, the skills that are necessary for middle school writing um, and incorporating that into those videos that they watch and discuss in our um, virtual classes. Um, and in addition to that, uh, the students will be reading a novel. Um, we have it an online version. There's a PDF version online. There's also an audio book that the students can listen to over the four weeks. Um, and there will be weekly discussions and writing reflection portions with that as long as well as uh, vocabulary and kind of reading quizzes as we go along through that novel. Great. Thank you. Megan, did you have anything to add? Yeah, I think Amy covered it. I was just going to say, along with the book, with the literature, we're, we are wonder, which fits perfectly into our GRIT program. Um, so those are going to go really nicely together, and we will be doing vocabulary quizzes, writings, but a lot of discussion on the book. So. Great. Thing I want to do, I, I saw there on the line too, I, this uh, program, I know you care a lot about your, your kids, and we do too. We want them to succeed. Um, the district uh, is trying to put supports in to help them. I see on the line our director of curriculum, uh, Dr. Kevin Greer, is on the line too. So I'm just, he's there too. Thanks. Great to see so much turnout. I appreciate it, parents, for coming in. And, and this is our first go through on something that's a virtual platform and really wanted to find ways to engage your kids um, and keep them connected and interested while trying to get them learning too through the summer. So I really appreciate you uh, gifting your children to us for the, the few days of the summer to try to help them kind of get on, on some solid ground before they go to the next um, school year. Great, thank you. Um, the other thing I was gonna tell before I let you guys ask some questions here is, during the next four weeks, if you have any questions whatsoever, from anything from, hey, we're not getting a good internet connection, to, hey, I'm having a tough time getting my student to, to read Wonder please feel free to reach out to us, okay? Like I said, you've got my email, and after this, we'll send out everybody's email, okay? Communication is the key, so, okay. Um, do we have any questions? Okay, great. Um, I will send an email out on probably tomorrow morning, just as a reminder if everything's going on, but I really appreciate you turning up. Uh, my, the summer school staff, I will see you guys in a little bit. Have a great rest of the week, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.